Hey guys, Ryan here. When we released the original PSA1, it instantly became the go-to professional studio arm for countless streamers, podcasters, and professional broadcasting studios all around the world. With its simple setup and 360 degree placement, it became an essential part of any creator's setup. Today, I am super excited to show you the next level in professional studio arms, the PSA1 Plus. Whether you're a Twitch streamer, podcaster, or professional working from home, the PSA1 Plus allows you to easily position your microphone wherever you need it. The first thing that you may have noticed about the PSA1 Plus is the protective sleeve. This not only gives the PSA1 Plus a sleek appearance, but it also features an elegant cable management system. These cable clips built into the protective sleeve were designed to keep all cables neat and tidy, allowing for XLR cables to be secured in place. There's also a secondary inner cable clip specifically designed for USB cables when using a microphone like the NT-USB or NT-USB Mini. Along with the NT-USB microphones, the PSA1 Plus is also fully compatible with a huge variety of microphones. Featuring an innovative internal spring-loaded mechanism, the PSA1 Plus is not only incredibly stable, but it will handle any weight between 94 grams and 1.2 kilos. That's 3.3 ounces all the way up to 2.6 pounds. That means any microphone from the ultralight VideoMic NTG all the way through to the heavier broadcast microphones like the Rode NTK. All of those microphones will be perfectly supported on the PSA1 Plus. The PSA1 Plus also ships with a thread adapter for universal compatibility with all standard microphones and shock mounts. The updated mounting system allows for a wider range of movement, both for end address and side address microphones, and a much more stable position when tightened in place. This mounting system not only provides a longer reach for the PSA1 Plus, but it also allows for parallel movement, meaning that when you move the arm into any position, the angle of your microphone will always stay consistent. This prevents the need to readjust your microphone every time you decide to move it. We've also included two separate mounting options for the PSA1 Plus for maximum flexibility. The first of these mounting options is a desk mount clamp, which is incredibly simple to set up. All that you need to do is attach it to the side of a desk and use the T-bar to screw it into place. Then the arm can be slotted into place and your microphone attached. The other option is the threaded desk mount. This is perfect for a more built-in solution as it can be drilled into a table and permanently assembled. If you would prefer not to drill your own hole into a desk or table, the threaded desk mount has also been perfectly designed to fit into the standard cable ports that are found in most office desks. You can simply remove the grommet, place the mount where the cutout is, and use the bolt to lock the mount into the desk. On top of its sleek look and stable positioning, the PSA1 Plus is also completely silent. It utilizes rubber contact points to decouple the microphone from the desk for improved isolation. This prevents resonant noise from your table or desk traveling up through the studio arm and into your microphone. Now this feature is especially useful for gamers and streamers that want to be able to ensure that the tapping of their keyboard or mouse doesn't feature in the audio of their stream or recording. Let us know what you think of the new PSA1 Plus in the comments below and don't forget, like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of the latest from Rode Microphones. Thanks everyone, and happy recording. Hey everyone, Jeremy with OnStage here in OnStage Studios showing off our new MBS 5500 articulating boom arm. So this is a classic piece you would see in a lot of broadcast stations or radio stations. Um, and it, it just offers an easy way to pull and push your microphone away from you um, as needed. So we're kind of taking it out of the broadcast studio, bringing it into the recording studio, showing you a few different ways that you can utilize this in your own home recording studio. So it adjusts all over the place, side to side, um, any way you want it. Uh, you can twist this freely uh, and you can tighten it down, but the point is that um, it does stay a little bit loose um, using these springs uh, so that you can really bring it in to wherever you need it. So if you're a home recording enthusiast and you're doing a vocal track, you need to be able to push it in and then turn around and then go over back to your computer. This is a great little setup. We have this set up on our WS7500 workstation with some of the add-ons. All right, so here we are with the MBS5500 boom arm with an iPad connected to it. So we've achieved this by using a UM01 ball joint connector. It has male threads that go into the back of a variety of our different U-mount iPad cases slash mounts. 
and on the other end, the female threads are 5 8 inch, and they go right onto this little post here, and that's awesome because 5 8 inch threads, and that's not just mic clips or this iPad, but also boom arms and goosenecks. You could put a really large variety of things on this articulating arm. So the iPad connected on this is really super helpful in a studio. Imagine you're a home uh, recording enthusiast, you're doing a vocal track, you can get your mic and then just swing this right above, right at the angle that you need. It's so easy and when you're done and you want to go mix something down, just push it out of the way and then go back to mixing. Or alternatively, let's say you're an engineer and you're recording somebody else, you want to make sure that the vocalist is following the lyrics correctly, you can really just bring it right over by your monitors and give yourself a third monitor. So really, the, uh, the applications you can use for this is, is limitless in the studio, in my opinion. So you can check out the MBS 5500, more details on onstagedance.com, or visit a dealer near you. Hi, I'm Michelle Levitt. I'm the Creative and Marketing Director here at Heil Sound. I'm also a podcaster. Today I want to walk you through setting up the Heil Sound PL2T boom arm to help you get your podcast studio up and running quickly. Let's get started. In the box you've got the boom, the channel covers, and the C-clamp. You will also need to have your XLR mic cable, your microphone, as well as any microphone mounting devices, such as a shock mount. We recommend a mic cable that is at least six feet in length, but the length you will need will depend on how far away your boom arm is positioned from your audio interface or mixer. Start with attaching the C-clamp to your table or desk. Next, position the boom arm in the C-clamp. The boom should move freely and loosely in this mount. That's one reason it's so quiet. Now I'm going to attach my PR30 microphone to the boom. We recommend using the Heil Sound PRSM shock mount, which I've already installed my mic into. To thread the shock mount onto the boom, simply loosen the top screw and then rotate the metal mounting arm until it is tightly secured. Now that your mic is attached, it's time to secure your mic cable. First, plug the XLR cable into your mic. Then run your cable along the cable channel and click it into place as you go along. Be sure to leave enough cable that you can move your mic back and forth appropriately. Now snap the top and rear channel covers on. Be sure to line up the tabs on the channel covers with the notches on the boom. Also, leave a little slack in the bend in the boom in case you want to fold the boom all the way down. Now you are ready to plug your XLR cable into your audio interface or mixer and start recording. One quick tip for adjusting your boom down and out of a video shoot is to invert the metal mounting arm. And just like that, your boom is out of the way, but still easily accessible. There are a few alternative mounting devices Heil makes for the PL2T. For example, we make a flush desk mount, a wall mount, a flange mount, and even a riser in case you need your boom to sit up higher. We hope this helps you get your Heil Sound PL2T boom arm set up quickly and easily. If you have more questions, please go to our website at heilsound.com. 